this sort of flap um, just sat on a stand in the right place with very neutral colours around it because it is quite a striking piece. Now Vince, that is a bit of kit is it not? Tell us about it. Yes David, good afternoon yet again. It's um, quite a nice piece, it's probably one of the, my favourite pieces in the shop. Uh, it's from the Indus Valley, it's a bowl as you can see, it's quite a large bowl. Uh, the Indus Valley was uh, originally part of South Asia many years ago. Uh, this dates to BC times um, and it's quite a stunning piece. How, f how far back in BC can we trace it? Uh, well, BC 1800, thereabouts. So this is knocking on the door of 4,000 years old? Yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah. I mean, That's a bit bonkers. Di yeah, it's difficult to, to all right, tie things down too much. Uh, and I don't like to sort of specifically say it's this particular time, just in case it isn't. But that's the ballpark figure for where we think it came from at, at what particular time. But I mean, we're talking give or take a few hundred years either side. Yeah, I, yeah, either way. But when you consider the actual age of it, a couple of hundred years either way doesn't really make a great deal of difference, does it? It, re <laughs> it really doesn't. It's, it's, it's his age, is his age. As it were. Uh, now the thing is, people often say to me, "Oh, I've got something that Granny used to own, and it's at least 120 years old. It must be worth some money." Yeah. This is 4,000 years old, so I'm guessing it's worth millions. Uh, 1,500. It, it's priced at 1,500. It doesn't sound much. No, I know. There's, a, there's an awful lot of antiquities that we we sell. Uh, we do some Ming Dynasty pieces and they really aren't the price that people think they should be or would be. Why is that, do you think? Um, I think realistically it's down to um, the fact that there are still quite a few of these pieces about, if you know where to look. Um, and it's a very specialised market. Collectors aren't somebody that walk up and down the street every day. No, it's you not know. an impulse purchase, is no, it? No, absolutely no. And because that, well, that's it. Because of the price, it's not an impulse purchase. Um, it's, it, it's something that collectors will specifically look for. It is very much an interior design piece, though, isn't it? Because you can imagine that thing, can't you, in a really, you know, stripped out bare London apartment with just that. I, I assume it would just be simply described as a bowl. On, on a centre table, it would look the business, wouldn't it? Absolutely, yeah, it would. I mean, you can see there's a tiny little chip out of it, um, but given its, given its age, that's... Listen, uh, Vince, powerful. you're in your 40s. You've got a couple of chips <laughs> yeah. out of you. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> If you're 4,000 years old, I think you can. Yeah, yeah, can, can, I, can I actually handle it? Can I turn it yeah, over? Yeah, of course you can, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Let's uh, just have a look at the. Have you got it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. I mean, it's some kind of terracotta, I'm guessing. Yeah, earthenware I don't or something. I know exactly what it is. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's in that direction, I think. Um, it's, a, it's a nice statement piece, and like you say, it would look ideal in a flat, you know, in a minimalist sort of flat. Um, just sat on a stand in the right place with very neutral colours around it because it is quite a striking piece. Now, we're in the Lake District here. Yeah. Beautiful tourist destination. We've got people around us from all over the world visiting. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Is it the kind of thing that you would sell to a more local person, as in, you know, from an hour or so away, or is it going to go abroad again? Uh, you'd be amazed how many people come in from foreign climates. Uh, asking to buy things and can we ship it, can we pack it because they want to put it on a plane. Right. Uh, we sell an awful lot of antiquities that we spend some time packing and uh, sending off to uh, other countries. Right, okay. Uh, so that's something that we do in all three shops on a very regular basis. So it's quite likely it's going to leave the Lake District I think it's... For yeah, warmer yeah. climbs. <laughs> yeah, I think so, yeah, to be honest with you. <laughs> At some point, somebody's going to come in and, and grab it. Um, but we get a lot of visitors here from within an hour away. Preston, Manchester, give or take an hour's drive. Um, and we've had numerous people interested in it that you may describe as being local. Um, but I suspect, ultimately, it's going to go abroad somewhere. Fantastic. Brilliant. Thanks for showing us your current favourite object, Vince. Not a problem.